Hey guys, welcome back to another reading vlog. So today is Thursday, it is July 4th, and I'm off today so I thought it would be the perfect time to do a reading update. So I'm currently in the middle of reading two books. So the first one I'm reading is Northern Lights by Nora Roberts. I don't remember exactly where I was the last time I did an update in my prior reading vlog, but I think I've was around 250, like page 250, and I am now on page 300. So I am a little bit more than halfway through. This book has roughly 560 pages. I am really, really enjoying it. I'm reading through it really quickly. Each time I pick it up, I think I'm only picking it up for like a little bit at a time, and I'm just kind of flying through it. So I'm hoping to be able to finish this fairly soon. Um, I'm enjoying it. I forget how much more detailed this book is compared to the movie. So I first read Northern Lights like 10 years ago, but I have watched the Lifetime movie version of it so many times. So I know the plot really well, or like the general plot of it, but I forget how much more detailed the book is. Like this is one of her chunkier books, and I just forget how much they leave out of the movie, which obviously makes sense. So I'm really enjoying reading that right now. I am also reading or listening to the audiobook of Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. This is our Muggle Studies book club pick for July. So where I am in the book to the audiobook is page 36, so I'm not very far. I basically just started it. So far, I am liking it, but I have to admit that the beginning isn't very gripping. Like, it's interesting, I'm intrigued, I want to know more, I think I would continue on with the story if this was not a Muggle Studies book club because, like I said, I'm only on page 36, but it just doesn't have, like, a wow beginning. We've already had a pretty intense action scene so far and we're only 36 pages in so that is promising but there hasn't been anything that's really hooked my attention so hopefully it'll get a little bit better. I'm really hoping that it's not boring or kind of just mediocre. I really want to enjoy this book. I've heard so many good things about this universe or this world and so I really really want to enjoy it. So so far, like I said, I'm not hating it, but I'm not loving it. I'm just liking it. So that is pretty much it for what I am currently reading. I did want to touch base for the Newt's Readathon that is going to be happening in August, which I am so excited for. The YouTuber Book Roast, she just released the Newt's announcement for August and all of the challenges that's required for the career that you chose. After completing the Owls Readathon, I ended up becoming Becoming a Hogwarts professor and I do have to say I had wanted to double major and do Hogwarts professor with curse breaker but I have to admit that I'm really happy I didn't because these newts challenges seem really really intense and I have a feeling that one is going to be enough of a challenge let alone two so I think we're just gonna stick with one. And Hogwarts Professor seems to be kind of the same with the OWLs. You do get to pick two uh, subjects of your choice, which which is really nice. So for the Newt's Readathon, there are three passing grades. A is for acceptable, E is for exceeds ex exceeded expectations, and O is for outstanding. So for Hogwarts professor, I have to get an O in the subject that I wish to teach, which I chose transfiguration. And so let me go, I downloaded the, um, I haven't printed it yet, but I did download the um, challenges. So for transfiguration, an O is uh, McGonagall does not mess around. Read a book over 500 pages. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have just waited on Nora Roberts because this is 562 pages. So dang. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that's going to be tough. Um, then I have to 
get an E in Defense Against the Dark Arts. So let's go to Defense Against the Dark Arts. Um, that is Gilderoy's Memory Charm. Oh, I remember this one. This one is to, um, this one you have to pick the first book that comes to mind. I honestly can't think of anything right now that comes to mind. Um, I'm thinking of Harry Potter because of Harry Potter. So I think I may wait to do that one when I'm about to film my TBR video and think, I uh, kind of like think of the book that first comes to mind. I don't know if that's cheating, but I'm just gonna try and kind of forget about this challenge. And then once I reread it in a couple weeks when I do my TBR ch um, video, then maybe it'll just come to me. Uh, I'll just pick the first book that comes to mind. But right now, all I'm thinking about is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So maybe I'll just go with that one because that's the first book that came to mind. And it's easy because I have it on audiobook and I have the physical book and I have the ebook of it. So, okay, we'll do that. I think I'm going to do Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for that one. But anyways, this isn't necessarily a TBR video. I just wanted to go through the challenges. Um, and then next I have to pick two secondary subjects and get two A's. So that'll be nice because the A's I believe are a little bit easier and I can just basically pick two subjects. So for August I am going to be reading Siege and Storm, which is going to be our Muggle Studies book club pick for that. So maybe I'll try and find a subject that I can use that book for since I do have to read it. I am very, very, very excited. Everything will be linked down below. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this update. I hope everyone had a great 4th of July and I will update you guys later. time for another reading update. So today is Sunday. It is July 7th. It is later on in the evening and I've just made myself some chocolate mint tea. It's the Private Selection brand which is the Kroger brand. It is so good. If you're ever craving something kind of chocolatey and minty, I highly, highly recommend this tea. It is delicious and it kind of gives you that satisfaction of having something chocolatey without eating anything if you don't want to eat anything. So this is definitely like my go-to beverage if I'm ever craving something like that, like if I want candy or something, then I will make this tea. So as far as my reading progress, I haven't gotten much read physically, but I have listened to a bit more of my audiobook of Shadow and Bone. So last time I updated you, I was on page 36 and I had only listened to about I would say maybe like an hour in my audiobook. Now I'm on chapter nine. Let me see if I can find in the book where I am and how much progress I've made. Okay, so it looks like I basically just started chapter nine because I'm only two minutes in. So I'm roughly on page 136. So I have read 100 pages since or listened to since my last update, which is really good. I've made a little bit of progress in it. I am using my star. Star Wars bookmark. It says, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I am pleased to say that I am enjoying it a lot more than when I first started it. So I know in my last clip I mentioned how I was liking it. it I wasn't loving it, but I wasn't hating it. It was a tad boring, like there wasn't really anything special about it. But I am pleased to say that I have changed my mind. So far I am really, really enjoying it. I think the story is unique, it's gripped me now, and I'm really excited to see where the story goes. I am really hoping that it's not going to follow cliché fantasy tropes or just cliché YA tropes. I mean, this book was published a while ago, so back then those tropes were really popular. So when was this book published? It's been a while. Published in 2012. So yeah, it's been a while since Shadow and Bone has been out. And some of the tropes that I'm really hoping is not part of this story is 
a love triangle, especially between the Darkling, Mal, and Alina. I see it happening because I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Darkling and Alina are maybe supposed supposed to be romantically involved. I'm not sure. As far as Alina being the main character, I am definitely enjoying her character a lot more. Granted, like I said, I was only 36 pages in, so of course there was room for improvement, but now I really, really, really am enjoying her character. I love how she is determined to not be different. She wants to be accepted. She wants to kind of blend in and she doesn't want to be the center of attention. I love that she is very confused in all of this and she is scared and she doesn't want this happening to her. And I feel like she has real reactions. When we have a hero in a story that learns they have powers, it's a lot of times they're not skeptical about it and they kind of just jump right in and they're like, okay, well, I have powers now and they apparently can use their powers really well without learning to harness them or anything. And I feel like this story is going to be different. I hope that Alina really struggles with her powers. She needs to learn to use them. There needs to be that learning curve with her powers. And I also love that she's really struggling to accept what's going on. And basically, you know, she's just, she's very skeptical. She's asking questions and she just, she doesn't want this happening to her. I also really love her determination. I love that she won't take shit from anyone. She's pretty strong. She's vocal. She doesn't keep it bottled up, especially since we're in first person perspective. We are hearing her inner thoughts, but we're also like seeing her be strong and voicing those opinions and what's going on. That is like one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to just any like books that I read is when you read what the characters want to say and then they never do. We also have the Darkling who is a really interesting character. We don't know much about him yet, but I'm excited to learn more. We're also introduced to another Grisha um, Jinya, she is the tailor and she ends up becoming friends with Alina. I really like Jinya. I think she's kind of sassy and I am excited to see more from her. This book is fairly plot driven so far. We've already had two or three intense um, like action scenes in only 136 pages, which is pretty good. So I'm quite pleased with that. Not as much world building, but we're getting some. It's very slow. Ah, yes! I'm so excited. Okay, so there is a map, which is really nice because they have been doing a lot of traveling and it's nice to see it on the map. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this update. I really hope to get more listened to since I only have six hours left of my audiobook and I am listening to it at 1.75. Sometimes I'm able to speed it up to two times speed, but it gets a little bit fast. This is an audiobook that is read rather quicker than um, other audiobooks that I've listened to, so two times speed is quite um, fast for me. That is it for this update and I will update you guys later.
guys. So time for another reading update. So it's been quite a few days since my last reading update. I just got really, really busy, but I am ready to be productive tonight. It is about nine o'clock and I've just made myself some peppermint hot chocolate. And this one is actually dairy free. I found it at Kroger, I believe. It is so, so good. So I'm still listening to Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo on audiobook. And I have about four hours and six minutes remaining. And it looks like I'm on chapter 14. So let me see if I can find my spot in my book where I am. The last time I did an update, let me see where I was at. I was on page looks like 130. So I had gotten a good chunk listened to. So let's see where I am now. Okay, so yeah, so it looks like I'm probably more than halfway through the book. I am now on page 210. So yeah, I've made quite a bit of progress. As of right now, I am enjoying it a lot more than when I first started it. It's plateaued a little bit as far as plot. It's not as intense at it was and it's not as exciting. So I really hope that it starts to kind of pick up soon, especially since we're starting to get towards like the second half of the book. I really hope that it's going to pick up and we're going to get um, a really good like exciting action scene because to be quite honest I'm not exactly sure what the conflict is right now. Like I have an idea and they tell you like the conflict is like against the fold and everything like that, but I'm yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure as to what the conflict is. So what I am planning on doing for the rest of the night, I'm going to drink my hot chocolate. I'm also going to start editing this reading vlog and I'm watching Twilight in the background. So don't judge me, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. <laughs> 